Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, we're gonna to be going over how to enable surveys within your org. Uh, these do need to be enabled, but then you can start going into surveys and creating your very own survey. I am hoping to create a crash course on getting started with surveys about all the different features and functions that you can use to create great surveys, but this is just a quick get started. So. I'm currently on the homepage of Salesforce, which is what you should see whenever you log into Salesforce, but really from anywhere within Salesforce, you should be able to go to the gear icon in the top right, click on it, then click setup. This will take you to the admin backend of Salesforce. From here, type in survey into the quick find on the left hand side and go to survey settings. From here, you can go ahead and toggle it on to be enabled. And that's how you enable surveys. Uh, to actually access these surveys, I'm going to go uh, into the app launcher and type in surveys. Go to that item, and then click new survey, and there you go. You are now in the survey editor within Salesforce. So now you can create a name. I'm going to do this example survey. And then click continue. And now from here, you should be able to... Uh, start making all your fun surveys to send out to your customers or your employees or whomever you're creating your survey for. But that is uh, just about everything you need to know about getting started and accessing surveys within Salesforce. I hope that you found this useful. And if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're feeling generous. You can check out the courses down below in the description box on different Salesforce certifications and the courses I've done. Connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter. And if you have any questions or suggestions for the crash course for surveys, please let me know. And I will do my best to include that. Uh, thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.